Twitch is cracking down on sim emotes over harassment fear. So this is a bit of an older story. This is actually 10 days old at this point. And I got rid of this emo uh, emote. And again, this all ties in with what I was telling you guys about before. In terms of the safety uh, uh, council, the shutting down of of uh, Commander Root, and of shutting down uh, over Russell Logs, it all ties in. The privacy, the new head of privacy, like all of these things tie in together. So if we look at these things on an individual basis, and that's, that's the main problem with focusing on Steph right now, uh, focusing on, on what she's saying and, and her role in this, is because ultimately we're getting lost in, 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 in the details, in, the, in, the, in the, the, the minor details, when in the bigger picture, there's big things happening on this platform as it relates to the future. Uh, by shutting down our ability to, to, to use tools like Commander Root, by shutting down the ability to uh, look up logs from over us logs, uh, new privacy commissioner, uh, uh, I don't know if commissioner is the right word, uh, clearing out emotes, getting rid of things, we are looking at the early stages of a sanitized Twitch. So look at YouTube. Look at YouTube. Look at YouTube in the early days. And then look at YouTube now. We are heading towards what YouTube is now, where you have to censor every third word uh, that you say because it's not ad-friendly. So again, individually, these small stories don't have much in common. You kind of go, oh, that's, that's shitty that they got rid of this emote. Why would they get rid of this emote? Here's Fed talking about it. And yeah, Fed Simp was removed from my emotes for targeted harassment and bullying. Very unfortunate. One of my favorite emotes. But we never, I mean, my community never used it with ill intent. It was mostly banter and in some cases uh, a compliment. Uh, really unfortunate. So, um,. So yeah, they got rid of Simp emotes. Uh, they, they've been deleting all kinds of different ones. I, I saw this the other day. This is Ash. Are you kidding me, Twitch? There is no sexual imagery or targeted harassment in my emotes. Do you intend to remove all emotes that have eggplants or even slightly sexually implicit like gasm emotes? Gasm literally means orgasm, for fuck's sakes, but you allow those. So she had this one removed because uh, it is targeted insults, bullying, or threatening, inciting abuse. You're rude. This one was removed. Big dick energy. That's gone for uh, imagery of sexual content or nudity, i.e. gasm style emotes, which contain sexualized torsos or bodily fluids. Uh, this one, suck my buns. So we're, we're seeing the, again, we are seeing the early cleaning up of this platform. And it, it, it's why I wish more people had read this article. Uh, would there be more things shut down soon? Yeah, definitely. This is sterilization, not sanitization? Yes, Sherbert, absolutely. The things that have made this platform successful, they are doing everything, well, at least they're making the early calls here to shut down things that are seen as not advertiser friendly. You gotta remember, uh, a couple months ago, a article came out where Twitch, uh, where, where it was leaked information from Twitch, where they wanted to achieve one billion dollars in ad sales in 2019. They only sold about 500 million dollars in ad sales, and that was, or, or at the point they'd only been at that, or maybe they're at 300 thousand, 300 million, and they thought that they would get to 500 million by the end. Uh, but clearly, very, very short of their advertising goal for the year. So you got to remember all of these moves that are being made now, including Twitch Safety Council, including removing uh, sim emotes. It's all about appeasing advertisers, bringing advertisers to the platform. And they are going to cave and, and, and carve out the community and things of the community like one piece at a time, one piece at a time, not all at once. They'll get rid of over Russell Logs. Nobody will make a complaint about that. They'll get rid of a simp emote. Nobody will complain about that. But slowly, we're seeing the degradation of, uh, of culture on the platform, something that really made this in the name of money. I would not be surprised if at some point in 2021, maybe, that we actually see, or maybe even this year, but we actually see streamers pushing back. Um, don't quote me on it. 
And I don't, I don't know if I, I would ever lead it <laughs> because uh, I, I would get banned immediately. But uh, I, I could definitely see. Uh, he, 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 here's me playing future teller. Here's me playing future teller. And again, I don't know if this is gonna happen or not. Twitch continues to uh, crack down on things, uh, and in response, Twitch streamers who have their emotes removed, for example. Uh, fed for example ash others who may have theirs removed will go hey stop subbing to their community stop subbing if you want to continue to support the stream paypal send money via paypal cutting out twitch and their ability to uh, generate revenue from streamers that, that will be the protest. That will be the protest that occurs. Twitch will then update their terms of service saying that requesting money on third-party sites is against terms of service. It violates the terms of service and community guidelines. You are not allowed to promote PayPal, OnlyFans, Patreon, etc. on the platform. This remote also got removed from Dan's Gaming. Yeah, I remember that one. Uh, I, I shouldn't show it on stream then because if it got removed. I guess I technically shouldn't be showing any of these these on, on stream. Um, but that's what's going to happen. And so then, uh, so, so they'll say, okay, you cannot promote these anymore. And then streamers will go, okay, well, now what? And that's what's going to happen in terms of this culture war. If Twitch follows this path line, if Twitch continues to to cut down on silly things... I mean, you can't, you cannot promote OnlyFans. You cannot promote an out safe for work, a uh, Patreon already. So the uh, existing precedent is already here. It already exists on the platform. So if, if you do not safe for work content, you can't promote it. If it's for pay, you can't do it. So it already exists. So all they need to do is change the, the words a little bit and go, well, now you can't promote donations. You have to keep, if you're going to do donations, it has to be in bits. Um, and it's gonna it, it it will carve out. And again, maybe it's so slow that it doesn't carve out the the core of, of the platform. But I don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs>